How ready are you for this new season uh, on Wednesday? How ready? I'm excited, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I'm pumped, man. Yeah. I can't wait. I feel like you guys are just ready to kind of show all this hard work that you put in. Yeah. Um, we're excited, you know, with the new system and whatnot that we're in. We're excited to show it off, you know, and just, just to play somebody else. Everybody's pretty much excited just to play somebody else. What do you think the biggest eye-opener for fans that have been around for a while, that they'll say, wow, this team is, you know, amazing in this department, or this really impresses me? i just say, I don't know. Probably our, obviously our defense, our defense is going to be a lot better. Um, just the effort. Uh, everyone's going to come out there and play hard. We're going to be on the floor. Um, every ball, every 50 50 balls, good yards. Just the effort part. It's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty high. He talked about the uh, deflections after the game the other night. Does he, is that posted somewhere in the locker room or does he get that out on like a stat sheet or how do you guys find out about that? Uh, we, the managers keep the stats every practice and that's like the main one. So uh, it's on a stat sheet as well as points, rebounds, and et cetera. Um, so yeah, it's a stat the managers keep track of and coach knows every, every single practice. Do you guys know as well? See we somewhere. ask, yeah, oh, ask. and we get the, the deflection leader is always on the board. Okay. And, uh, and was that the same with the uh, exhibition the other night? Did he make a big point of saying who had the most deflections? Uh, all the time, deflections is big emphasis. Uh, we had a list in there, uh, everyone with their amount of deflections. Uh, that was, that was yeah, that's what we did for the exhibition. Longview State has had a lot of turnover in the past year. How have you kind of gone about scouting them, preparing for them? Yeah. Longview State's had a lot of turnover, like roster turnover. How have you kind of prepared for them? What do you mean roster turnover? Uh, like new 11 new players. I don't even know their roster. <laughs> We've yet to uh, dive into them. We just know they play hard, and we're coming in to play harder than they do. We can make their own game. Yeah, we? Coming back this year, what have you seen from him? What can he bring to this team? Uh, versatility. Uh, like a lot of the guys on the team, we can play multiple positions. Uh, Sharif, he's got God given talent. Uh, the dude can run the floor like no one else. Um, and he can pretty much play any position on the court as well. And he just brings more size as well. And uh, I don't know. I'd say versatility is the biggest one. Uh, he can be all over the floor. Shaq is here to watch you guys practice. Is that, is that fun for you to have him here watching you guys? Fun. Uh, I, I don't care who's on the side. <laughs> when I'm in between the lines. All I care about is Nick Cronin and his coaching staff. How has the transition been uh, for you personally, especially on the defensive end? Say that one more time. Especially on the defensive end. How's the transition been for you? Uh, it's not much of a transition, no matter what. You want to play as hard as you can at all times. Uh, the defense is a little different with the stance and whatnot, as you know, uh, with Cronin's previous teams and how they face the ball and whatnot. That's the biggest one. Um, but I mean, defense is defense <laughs> at the end of the day. I was talking to Coach Cronin, talking about how he references movies a lot. He said you were kind of the guy who picked up on most of the stuff. Is that yeah. True? Uh, I, I'm just the old head. My dad shows me a lot of stuff from like his childhood, so I know a lot from like a lot of stuff that I shouldn't know. Stuff that's a long time before I was even born. So um, that's just thanks to my dad. Um, but yeah, I get a couple quotes that he gets. If I don't know, I ask him. I haven't caught on like two of them. But um, yeah, if I don't know, I ask him. I mean, I'm good. What would be an example of one that you? It was one, uh, I can't remember the last one, but it was something about somebody else going crazy hard, and he, and he I forget the name, but um, like after I laughed at it because I knew what it meant, but I was like, where's that from? I hadn't seen the movie, I didn't go see it either. <laughs> But uh, I can't remember it, an exact example. Does he bring it up nonchalantly or does he say, well, from this? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like a joking guy. So, like, you know, if anything happens, he'll connect it to something else just to lighten the load, make you not feel as bad. <laughs> <laughs>
But uh, yeah, it, it's I don't know. It's it's like clockwork with him. It's, it's normal. Uh, <laughs> with criticism comes a joke. So. Everyone good? Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris.